Hi, I'm Seamless, and it's Thursday, which means right now I'm streaming a new track from scratch, and this is what we got from last time. I'm playing it, <clears throat> I'm playing it in three, two, one. So the, the way I have my, my setup here, actually, I guess I can show you. I guess I can show you. All right. All right. So up here, here's you guys, right? Here's the, this guy is, this is XSplit. And here's you, me talking to you. And down here is FL, where I'm doing it. And over here is where I'm communicating with people. This is a screen I'm not using. And here's my speakers and whatnot. And the camera sits up here. But um, it's, it's interesting because I can see myself in the camera up here and what i mostly see is like a black mass with hands and the head because I, it's far away and it's small so it's it looks pretty funny when i do this when i do this like this crap because like i can't see i can't see like this this is just looks like a black uniform blob and i'm pretty sure it does to most of you too anyway so that uh i just think that's funny is all all right <laughs> black mass Alrighty, um, uh, just a very not interesting movie. Like it was about very interesting people and very interesting events, but it wasn't a very interesting movie. <sighs> Those plucks were largely by accident, but they do sound pretty good, don't they? Says a guy in chat. He said they sounded pretty good. I said they're mostly by accident. All right, so I actually remembered uh, by listening to this before I started streaming today that I that the first video we talked about integrating guitar into this, and I wasn't going to make this a metal thing, and I don't think I'm gonna. But I am going to work more on the melodic aspect because we wanted to talk about this being a melodic aspect. Oh boy, chat has lashed onto the black mass thing. I feel another, another, uh, another gay snails coming on. All right, I just said all that stuff I was going to do, and what does that mean? I'm going to do next. I am going to do. I kind of have a thought, so I'm going to start. Actually, I'm going to make um. A pretty generic -y kind of like string patch, but it's just because I wanna I wanna arrange a bit. I wanna write some stuff, and I gotta have something to work with before I design what I want the thing to sound like. Because we have feeling kind of with the mixing and the mastering, which is still also very preliminary. When I when we're done finally with all the content and I know what everything is gonna be, that's when I'll start to really dial it in. And it's still not gonna be that much farther from where it is because we've dialed in the stuff while we're making it sound good with what we're doing right now, and. uh um, look at the chat. People are funny. One of these days, I'll get I'll get the overlay stuff working so like I can get the chat scrolling in the thing. And I've done that once or twice in the past, and it's always good. And like I'm 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 for that. I don't care how ridiculous people are. So you're in here. You're gonna be a lot quiet. Oops, a lot quieter because it's saw waves and saw waves are loud. So what the hell key am I in? E. I'm pretty sure, right? Because I keep changing the. Yeah. Oh, that was a slide. That's I don't know. Yes. Yes. Okay. Woo. I have a thought. I have some thoughts. It's not what I meant, you guys. <laughs> uh, English language is funny. All right. So I, I have this kind of semi-serious progression thought in my head. It's mostly because of the very like dissonant nature of this ARP, which is making me think that, right? Can make that work with that with still having that be relevant so like we can't like you're not gonna sustain a chord with a one like a minor one in there minor two but you can do kind of like uh you can progress up there and still have the related kind of like fours in there because normally when i do like rp patty stuff we're doing <clears throat> Like threes like this, but like the 
the majors also sound good. But usually not, unless you're doing a kind of dead mousey switch between a major and minor thing. That kind of sounds, I like, I like that a lot, actually. But what we're doing here is a bit more of an Arabic thing where you sort of are doing this majorness, but you're doing it on the minor from the one. On the major from the one. That's what it was. You can do that there, then slide it from there. And then that's just four. Sometimes I probably just shouldn't talk about music theory as if I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, right. That reminds me of Kingdom Hearts. Lexi, which part of Kingdom Hearts does that remind me of? <laughs> Kingdom Hearts 2, I think. I'm pretty sure it's that, um... It's the bit, it's the, whatever that place is with the entrance to the Tron level, like when, before you blow it up and then like it has, it has this kind of progression in it <clears throat> constantly. It's like, it's just, it switches between these two chords. It's burning in my head because I kept going in there over and over and over again. Hollow Bastion, I think is what that place is called. Not anymore. I'm not doing it, but you know, I got this like, <laughs> I'll find it later and I'll figure out. I, I'm, I don't know. I don't know the names of any of like the soundtrack pieces. And I had a plan here. I just like, ignored it because I was trying to remember what the sound was. Oh, that's right. I'm trying to get there. I'm probably gonna do that like down here because I'm gonna progress to it from something I'm gonna do with this guy. C to E to G. That makes sense. Minor. The major, rather. Uh, what, if, what if I did the G? It's kind of a weird chord. <laughs> they're they're uh, automatopeeing the Tron music from uh, in the chat there. It could be a neat, like, inter inter chord. This is how I write music, very randomly. Ooh, if I want to do D. Ooh, I haven't thought of that yet. To go down like that, maybe if I come back up. It's kinda loopy though. Two involved. Major seven. I, I, I didn't know Toes in the Bossy had a new guitar company. Holy crap! <laughs> I I already like it. Like I, I I didn't know that, but every signature guitar Toes in the Bossy's ever made, I wanted. Like, one of them had, like, an 11-way, like, combo of all their different switches, and every tone was wild and awesome. And, like, good God. I have, I have a, um, I have this Halo Guitars 8-string, Evertune Bridge, but it's got, um, the, uh, single coil switch here, I think it was what it is, the coil tapping, and, like, it kind of gets those tones, those jangy, like, toes in the bossy tones. We might get to some of that later. Hmm, suspends. No multi scale. I don't know if I could do a multi scale. I mean, you're supposed to like automatically be able to do a multi scale. Sort of the whole point of them, but I, I guess uh, 
No, not really. I mean, if you have enough strings, you can kind of force it on yourself, can't you? Tone wise. So actually, mm, mm, mm. if I do that, then what if I crawl up? Wow, that's weird. That's not gonna do it, but that's weird. Although, oh boy, if I could come up with a melody that could work under that. Oh shit. Mm. We were just talking about Toes and the Bossy, and like a lot of the original Animals as Leaders were, were productions that were basically managed by Misha Mansoor from Periphery. And uh, he has always been really good at sonically arranging a lot of voices. And Periphery has some pretty cool chord arrangements with their guitars. Just a lot. It's pretty cool. We we're just talking about that. We're basically going to try this. Yeah, so if you didn't know that about Animals as Leaders, doesn't that explain an awful lot about why the first Animals as Leaders album was kicked ass, the second one really didn't, and then the newest one did, because guess which ones were worked on by Misha Mansoor. Basically, he was there to, to, to rein in uh, Tozen's like, super wank, because he, he's, his guitar technicality cannot be constrained by his himself. <laughs> All right, this might be a bit too high to try this with, though. I need the ones again, so let's do the fives. Wow, that's a lot lower than I thought that was. Was that really one octave? Uh, that's not gonna work. Maybe if I had minor to though. I didn't want a one minor, but that's interesting. More fun fact about the first AAL album, that is naked, that's not naked superior drummer, it's heavily processed superior drummer, but it is not, there's no person recording those drums. I'm pretty sure it's mostly Metal Foundry, too. The newer one, the newest um, Animal Leaders is a guy. That's Matt Garska. <clears throat> See, it's kind of cool because we come back to the minor here, but then that makes this sound bad. What if I alternate? Oh, that could be interesting. Uh, come back in on the major on when the next one comes around and then end on the major and then go back to the minor? Or is it in on the minor? Weirdness is this. Is that? That's not an E. What key am I in? What happened? <laughs> check, check, check. I did just kind of go up one. Yeah, okay, that's why it happened. We just ended on the one, and then we get to go back down. Ooh, major inversion. Didn't see that coming. Kind of works. This chord is still kicking, like one of these. I forget which one is still kicking kick, kick my ass, but like, oh damn, I like that. I like that middle bit. Yeah, this has got to be something else. Did I know that Propel is releasing VSTs for a reason? I did not know that. I, I would really love to try, try out a uh, freaking Maelstrom. Whatever that granular thing is that Cohen Sound uses a lot, like in here. Holy crap, that'd be dope. Okay, so if we're doing this, you have to kind of come down. This, this kind of reminds me of a little, little bit of like Link, Lincoln Parky kind of stuff. Because if we're doing the C major, we can just come back down to C major. Ha <laughs> ha. Kind of worked, but this 
this minor stuff is not isn't really hand handling it well here. Sort of works, damn it. Okay, so like, what if I, what if I'm not actually in E here? What if I'm really just playing around with F as my root, and I just don't know that? Because I could kind of explain this working, like here. Like, I feel like I might have accidentally changed keys without noticing. Because this is C and C, and then this is still G sh or D, right? Because this is one, the five, and the three, and that makes this one F. It's definitely asking for a real specific resolution, though. Is it C? Or have we just been... Uh, this is just... This whole thing is in C, I guess, is why. Because it's really reading C. So it should read E, my, e major. If I wanted it to. Right? That's E minor. Derp. That's E minor. Am I... I'm still in C. I'm still thinking of C. Grounding myself in the key I'm in. Alright, so I'm not, not that chord, but. What if I go to G for this chord instead of? Nah, that's a little rough. I like going down to C for that. I could kind of use that logic to come to, to invert this minor into its relative major. Or other way around, I guess. <laughs> Still coming back to this, I don't. That really doesn't sound good to me. That kind of works. Ah, it does not work at all. That kind of works. It does not either. All right, I'm gonna leave that alone for a second and try and address this. Could try going. Right. So that's the really basic kind, just like. Nyr. Now I'm pendulum. <laughs> These are loud. I'm trying to make this not loud. Like I thought I really turned I thought I turned this down a lot. Oh yeah, I forgot I'm compressing the shit out of it. Derp. Sorry, my bros. You know what I'm trying to do? Let's try and Ooh, fun, but no. Kinda. <laughs> uh, let's see. I could try and... Kinda like that. That's... This is... No, is this D sharp? So I could um I could also do like the whole like the three four thing. Oh, which is what I'm doing, which is why that works. Holy crap! Okay, that, this explains a lot. This 
that's kind of why this. Oh, okay. I can make that a version like the C thing work. I can do the C thing again over here because I still want to start. Like... Because we're still going to come out of that and come into this. Which, like, I think I can make this happen. I think this will work. I might, I'm going to change a little bit about the drop to make it fit, but it's still going to be mostly just that. <clears throat> Ooh, that's kind of like foreboding a bit, kind of. Keep this whole motif going here. It really seems like I want to be on C. Oh, we're going to start with C and come into E. That's what we're doing. We're coming down to the root. That's why the root's not working. Cool. It's basically, give me this guy. Not. Oh, wait, when, when did I? <laughs> I control X to. This, this chord doesn't make any sense anymore because it has to resolve back to C so I can get back to E. Right. This is kind of like the. um. Six four one kind of progression. Did I do that twice in a row? I already did that. This is weird. What did I do over here? Oh, that's right. If I keep going down like that, it's not really gonna. It's not gonna work, is it? That's a little interesting. All right, so here's a here's a wild guess here. What if I just I guess I'm in E major. That's kind of cool though, because then the the, the minor is really going to be like a a change when the drop happens, but in a way that will like I think it'll like if I because if I can foreshadow it with properly with the lead and kind of doing it, it'll work out. Someone in the chat asked me if I still do tutoring. I tur tutoring. I totally do. I do lessons indeed. All right, so that's why I didn't have that 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 and not the root there. It's really low. Is that really how high this was? I guess I should just, this should just be the progression. I'm trying to be clever by having a nice variation, but it doesn't seem to work. What if it starts here? I guess this works. So I guess if I am going to do this, then that we can kind of like do the sort of expected modulations, but again, we can't be doing it as low. Do I know if FL should have new VST plugins? They do, I think. Um, the VFX plugin. One of them, one of them is a VFX plugin. This guy, where the hell is it? This dude, VFX level scaler. That one was new. I don't think they had anything else new for FL20. How much is the tutoring? Uh, I offer lessons for $150 for an hour. 
However, if that's way too expensive, I am going to be doing viewer track reviews again. <clears throat> and that's just free. You can just send me your tracks, and I'll do up a review of it. And that's mostly what people want when they do lessons. So that's um, that's probably going to solve most people's sort of thing. But if you want the whole one-on-one, -on -one direct, seamless experience, 150 bucks. I could double this whole thing up. That's probably a good idea, actually. So if I did that, what if I leave those two guys up top? I can kind of use that as like the mid, the mid melody. Uh, we're going down to seven. That's the, f the two to make a major. That was interesting. Whoa. Uh, that's a C. That would be why. But then how? Because it's a 7. And then we're doing this. And the D and the B? That worked? That did not work. Because I did that again. Dude. Yeah. Is, am I, is my also going to upload this onto YouTube? Yes, the hells I am. It is. I kind of just like just moving the low note on that. Nice. I like it when reharmonization works like that. <laughs> I need a third note up here, though. We're doing D and B. Mm. Uh, yeah, what? F. Yeah, it kind of worked. That's a bit intense for the whole thing. I kind of want that to be like the end of the phrase. So maybe. Let's go down like that. Yeah, the second time around. Oops. I wasn't supposed to work, but I'm surprised they did. Ooh, but that works by like the most Vegas bear definition. Oh, that was doper as hell though. Holy shit. Yeah, all right. I got to really, like, back this up with a melody that works with it. <laughs> got a progression, though. Oh, I haven't haven't doubled up the drop yet. Jeez. All right, well, I'm going to take a second to pause the stream. Well, the stream is going to keep going. I'm going to pause the local recording so I can go to the bathroom. Oh, and we're back. Let us continue. What time is it? Awesome. Barely any time at all. We'll leave that alone. Go back here to what I'm doing with this biz. So the thought, I guess, this is going to get its own deal. Uh, 
got a new pattern. New pattern. Uh, yes, good. Cool. One thing. So let's make both of these a cool sound. I'm going to kind of intersperse them and layer them and chop between them and that kind of thing. I'm wondering if I lost weight. I um, actually might still weigh the same, but I didn't work out for a whole long time, so it's been redistributed a bit, you know. Uh, excuse me. Okay, that's as loud as hell now because it's not... mean to turn this into future bass, but go oh, shoot the shit fits. Well, let's, uh... Oh boy, okay, hold on. Uh... Um? Did I miss? Oh, I pasted <laughs> I just pasted the part to the same part. Do I upload the hardware patches separately for the ones who don't have FL? Um, no, but I guess I can do that. Uh, I can just, I guess, export project bones and I'll just spit me out a bunch of presets. I've never actually tried to do that because I never had a reason to. So I suppose I will find out. All right, some of this. Oop, not that. This. And this. We're also going to need this. To do this. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, okay. All right, but first. Okay. 
This, by the way, is how you make a fake choir. This is reverb I'm using in just some reverb room. I haven't chosen what the room I want yet, but I'm creating a little curve here that's more or less a formant. And I'm going to layer that with the thing, and it's going to be dry, wet, kind of whatever. It's going to get layered against all the rest of the stuff. And you're not really going to hear the, the synthy nature of it too clearly because the harmonics will be with everything else. But you'll hear this. You'll hear the reverb after it, and it'll make it kind of feel like there's a choir going on. How long do I plan to be on? Um, the next thing I have I have to do is at 9 p.m. tonight at the lesson I have, but in, but in between that, I have to take this off, record it, put the project, give it to Toby, Black Octopus, so that's uploaded available. Um, so that's a couple hours, I guess. So that's, that's say, 6.30. It's one more hour. Sort of pitch distress helps to sell the uh, the choir aspect uh, pretty well, and I had this other other guy here so that we can uh, save some of the sharper quality. might uh layer this with some more in like intent like in front of your face chords in front of your face yes that makes sense um to make that kind of more special because i i, I do kind of want to like seven lines this part up a bit with like a sharpness of a low end but still a big kind of wall on top you know Actually, I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna put it back in here at the place it was, so that we have that representation there. Because I like to set the, the interplay of some of those closer chords. I also was kind of worried about that about the phaser that it wouldn't sync up well. I should have tested this with the metronome. Kind of off, but it's not that far off again anymore. I don't have to worry too much about it because eventually it's going to get side chained to death and that's going to keep the rhythm where it needs to be, but still. Get trigger in my face. My face, it considers itself triggered.
future. I got really weighted to the left for some reason. Yeah. The song is supposed to be Neuro Dubstep, so you're getting the correct feel. <laughs> Somebody in the chat was talking about how this feels more like drum and bass. All right, just for shits, let's see what this feels like with this exact drum beat just on it. Because the I'm pretty sure this is still sidechain correctly. There's going to be some work to trying to get from there to there, but it'll do it. It'll happen. I got this. I feel this. How long is left in the stream? About one hour. Really what I should be doing here is... your octave higher. There it is. So before I attempt to try and put a melody on that, I'm going to um, slap on some arps. And we're going to get a new one of these. I think I've done every one of these so far with Harmer. It's been on a Harmer kick lately. Like right before that, I was on a big old citrus kick. <clears throat> 37. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, this guy interesting. That was kind of not, not really what I wanted to do, but it was a little interesting in that. It didn't occur to me that this would actually be technically be a pluck down on a pitch, and then this is technically a pluck up, which is probably why the impact's been screwing on me this whole time. Uh, what's that sub focus song I'm acc accidentally doing right now? I wonder. I don't think this will work at all, but I wonder. I was going to think about just putting this on there, like as a melody on top of all this, but this is really up there. That'd be really up there. I like this progression. I like that. I like this. This is ba that's basically like half the song done right there, because everything else is just going to be copying and pasting it into things until once I figure out this lead, because then we can figure out how we're going to integrate this into the main drop and make it a song. That might not be something we do today. Just P.S. Because that's that's a lot of work. At least it is. If I don't already like, I'm I've been relying on like inspiration. Like if you were watching me write the, that progression, you saw me just kind of like I don't know what's happening until something did happen. You know. Ugh, pardon me. I usually know why things why things did happen. I just don't tend to do that on purpose. So I could do this with Harmer. I don't think I will. Or wait, yes I am, because I just had an idea. 
Need a pattern. All right, so if I'm going to make this melody work, it's going to be something that can be reharmonized easily, but I am going to make variations to it. But I do want to have its variation, I want to have its whole thing kind of work in an average sense. So we're going to work on this four bar loop. All right, so my idea here. Watch, watch what happens. All right, see how fast that is? How fast that's happening? It's happening because this line is shaped like this, but we can use all the line types, including the ones that have lines in them. It's kind of half lifey, doesn't it? Well, it's FM essentially. We're FMing this, but here's where the FM gets funky because we can change the weight of the FM uh, according to spectrum by using a mask on the phaser. Oops, wow, no, not that though. <laughs> Check that shit out. Someone in the chat's like, you look different with short hair. It's like, my hair's not that short. It's still shorter. <laughs> so also fun with the uh, the shape that we're doing is that we can still use the speed out to determine speed. Let's try and actually do a thing. <laughs> Not the bees, no! See if it seals if it sound like a net one. <laughs> Look at the visualizer try and keep up with my range. Uh, Alright, that's not really note like, so let's, let's make it a little more note like. Alright, it's a little better. Uh, any context but let's do this with just this guy and no drums need to hear the freaking hmm Trying to figure out what the keys I'm in really work with. I guess I had I actually do need to hear this with the drums so that I know what the uh, rhythms are like better. And that means put you into the master. This is a lot happier sound than I anticipated. Hmm. My dad thinks you talk too quick. Yeah, everyone. Everyone has it who has ever known me has thought I talk too quick. Alright. I guess I have to have to, I have to be louder, I have to commit more to leading. Ooh. 
Ooh, I could do like a kind of like. It, it, it's clashing with the ARP because it's the right pitch. Clashing with everything because it's the wrong note. I want I want something that's kind of simplistic, so that it can match with that all that whole progression we did. As little as automatically as possible. <laughs> Drunk Lazar, I sound like I'm on mescaline. This is a little stuffy in here. Tell you what. Way too high. I should probably try to stop trying to be clever with this this note here. That kind of works. Let's see what this sounds like with the whole thing. Let's see what that sounds like with the whole thing. Take it. I'm good. And now for fun, let's see what this sounds like in a different key. So now, now what I gotta do is I gotta make I gotta make this bit conform to this because like this is this is the heart and soul of the song, the melodic component anyway, and like this is still gonna be the same like basic rhythm and stuff of all the stuff that's happening here. But like this guy is gonna get changed to fit what this rhythm melody is doing. I might even try and like cut whole stacks of this into here, <clears throat> but I think actually what's gonna happen is I'm gonna start cutting stacks of this into there, and um, <clears throat> it'll, it'll sort of form it out, you know. Can I explain how the ducking is set up? Oh, I did. Okay, well, this is a template. This whole this whole uh, FLP began on a template. Um, I have one set up so that uh, I explained this in the first video, but I'll run through it again anyway. This is um, all my hardware outputs and inputs, and then over here I have ducking, and uh, they're all on really far away channels so that like I don't have to change them ever. And uh, over here is the ducking, which already has a, a limiter, which I've been using because it's already designed to move the audio fast enough to be ducked properly. And uh, I have that set up to these uh, these envelope controllers in the sequencer already. Like these start up here, this and this, and then the sub channel are there by by default. And then number one is selected to side chain the ducking. Number two is selected to side chain the sub. Sometimes it needs to be different. And number three is selected to automate the release time in the master channel so that uh, the compression matches the speed when the drums and the snares hit. And that is my template. That's where I start.
gonna do it this low. I don't know if I am, but if I did do it this low, I would actually probably do an octave higher than that. A lot more reverb. I've made a trumpet. How long have I been sidechaining that way? Uh, a couple weeks now. Um, the benefit of doing this is just that I can sequence it with the drums easily. Because I can just, like, whenever the drums are hitting, I can just put it there. There's a note there. You can also just move it around with automation inside the audio, like, automation clips inside the playlist. You can also just set it up sidechaining with, like, a ghost kick if you want to have that kind of control over your envelope. Um, <clears throat> but, yeah. Are the envelopes mapped to the limiter gain? Yes, they are. All right, so I guess, so, hmm. Let's work a little forward a bit. And by that, what I mean is I'm gonna make the intro. I'm gonna use the stuff now, because I have the stuff. I guess I need one more, don't I? No, I don't, I don't care. I'm not gonna do a big ass intro like that. I'll do like this. Or I could do like, do I want to do the whole? Progression twice. I mean, this is going to be like the riser, right? So, that's, all I like to do here is um, stick to the uh, roots, which is handy because the the melody, the melody already does that. intro though because or rather in the build up i'll let it go in the intro so to kind of introduce it like i'll filter it in through here and then i'll let it kind of fall off so that when we when we hear it again it's not as like we've been we're not as inundated with it someone in the chat says you should save more often and i use auto save and uh usually uh, every time i reinstall fl good thing you mentioned that thank you for mentioning that but that's supposed to have auto save on and i just turned it i turned it way the hell up just then <laughs> every time they reset it every time i install a new fl it, it resets that to something to, to a, like a, a shorter value and I, I don't they reset a lot of things but it's, it's annoying when i can't catch it thought of about it using the piano in there. A lot about that job is going to change, and TBH is probably the least developed part of the song at this point. <clears throat> and so far as I know what I'm doing with it. I don't really know what I'm doing with it. I know what I'm doing with this. Wait, do I have... I don't have play installed. Yeah, that's why I'm doing this. Just check, double check into my head to make sure I didn't have play installed. But what I'm doing with this piano guy isn't that intense, so I don't need to have something that hardcore. Give me you. Whole thing. Lovely thing about pianos is that they can be the whole range. B 
you put these projects out for remixes. I put these projects out for whatever the hell anyone wants to do with them. I just do not care at this point. I, I basically don't want to sell music. I don't want to deal with selling music. I like making music. I like teaching people how to make music, but this, I just don't want to deal with it. So I put every one of these projects out for every one of these sessions. So like the last video that I already did for this series has a project that will always be there for that particular one. And then the one for this one, and the one for this one, next one, the next one, the next one. It's also to ensure that there's content for the fact that I barely ever finish these. So there you go. Uh, Varian is the only other one that I, I recommend for music theory. There's others. I know there are others. I just don't go looking, so I don't know. Is that really how how that pans out? I guess let's do five, five. Fives are always good substitutes for roots. Oh, this guy's up here. I'm doing this because I'm trying to like piano this up a bit with how hands work. these are octaves too so i know they're gonna overlap but whatever Ooh, good though cool <laughs> randomized riff machine yeah yeah that, uh that's usually pretty good honestly i should probably use that more to be honest sensitive. I don't think it has any, like, yeah. Oh, there's a filter. Um, I think this patch actually uses uh, keyboard tracked filtering to make that work, to make it do the, the right thing, which is good because it will do it the way I want it to. I wonder, though. There's a way to do this with a real piano that I could do if I had a real piano, or if I had a, if I was using play and I really felt, I felt like like fucking around with the sustain pedaling. But what I'm gonna do is play this guy and have a copy of it and have it be the ARP version. <laughs> it's not set to what? 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 Why is direct wave not? Oh my god! Okay, hold on. It's doing the whole chord. Why was it set to none? Why was that the default? <laughs> this is a little silly, but there's a thing, there's an effect I'm going for, and I'm gonna use I'm gonna use like reverb or whatever to do the rest of it, but Not a velocity way to turn it down from here. I guess I could do that from here. Should keep it within the chord. So what I was going to do, kind of, was I was going to, like, ramp up the um, the MIDI to get that, like, that softer light touch effect. But I'm actually going to get that by automating this. Um, this guy, you see it in the camera, right? Yeah. So this is um, this is the volume, like, in the, in the sequencer, the patcher, channel rack is the name of the thing. In the channel rack, it says right there, channel rack, um, these two knobs on sample channels and, <clears throat> and generators are panning your volume, but they're not 
they're not the audio panning in volume. They're the notes panning in volume. They're the MIDI. Like, it actually will make the thing play a, lo a lower level of velocity, which is not the same as playing a lower level of volume on the thing you're doing. For example, if I'm using something that has distortion in it, which I'm not doing anything in here, but if I did, it would, if I changed the volume of the thing up and down, it would change the quality of the sound, but it wouldn't actually change the level because the distortion is picking it back up because it's a pre-effect thing. The note going into it is the thing that's having its volume changed. So we're going to do that here. We're going to use this guy to change essentially the, the velocity's offset to be lower, but we can automate it. So that means I can make that effect uh, change over time without having to write different notes. And also while be able to, I can change it during the ARP without having to wait for the no the next note to change for the, for the uh, level here to, to change over. That's why I'm doing that. It's like the only reason to use that knob. So I guess I do have to do one more before I do the rise. I should probably, I, I've done this in like seven songs so far where we like build up on our, our progression and then just do a big old like right up in there, but I'm going to do it because I like it. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, I'm not. Okay. Never mind. I just had a, I, I like forgot what project I was working on just now. And I uh, thought for a second I had a whole different setup of drums. And I was about to be like, oh, I could do a cymbal rise. I think I can do that, but then I don't really feel like open up Superior Drummer right now. I just want this guy. And I honestly kind of rely on other people for impacts and crashes and stuff. Just because it's... I, the, the, the returns feel like they diminish way too fast for the amount of work that goes into, like, fully related things. Um, I love the idea of, like, field recordings and, like, drum recordings and that kind of thing. And, like, I obviously, like, do a lot of stuff from scratch, but the, just... The sheer availability of just like perfect samples that are exactly what I need is it just just makes that a giant waste of time. For example, let's break out Leviathan because it's got a whole thing, a whole just. Mm. Not bad. <laughs> See what's cool about the really heavy hitter hitter ones like these guys is that they sound kind of nice when you when you low pass them too. You get a nice like nightmare clown. <laughs> See, check this guy out. Nice, right? I don't really want um, a lot of low end for very long on this guy, actually, because I'm going to play the bass. Like, this is when the bass is going to come in, so we need the impact. Actually, to think, come to think of it, I want no, no low end on this at all, because I'm going to be taking care of that with the kick, because the kick is there. It'll be side-chained anyway, but I don't need it to last longer than that. So, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to high-pass it, but I'm going to, like, automate it a bit, so that... How do you find Leviathan 2? That is a pack from Black Octopus Sound. It's uh, They had one of the bigger ones. More complete, large awesomenesses. But we're hearing the kick, too. Yeah, I need to go, I need to go hard, harder and higher than that. That's better. I guess I should just let the bass be the bass, because I'm going to bring in this guy, right?
That's it. I'm not going to add anything else. I'm not going to put anything else in there. It's just the rest of the song. It's just that <laughs> bass for two minutes. Ah, no. All right. I need some crashes. Oh, how do I find Leviathan 2? How do I like Leviathan 2? I like it a lot. Um, it's I, I like the first Leviathan, which, I mean, I, I would because I worked on the first Leviathan, but I didn't... I don't think I worked on Leviathan 2. <laughs> I actually am not totally sure now that I think about it, but uh, it um, it's got, you know, like, if you're doing ho any, house anything, Leviathans are the thing for you. Like, I got, the, uh, like, wicked drum hits and stuff for, like, the harder, like, dubstep stuff, but it's, like, it's nice. billion db crash doesn't need to be this loud i pick in this crash because this is this is what my crashes tend to turn into like in context like that and check it out it worked went at an appropriate level uh i guess let's actually just like bring the whole thing over right Probably not that often. I'm going to like do like fills and okay. Actually, I know exactly what I'm going to do in there. I'm going to do like I'm going to do like um, a kind of what a kind of like intro y like drum like madness going on in there, but it's going to be like its own whole thing that only happens during the intro. It's going to be like a, a specific little superior drummer moment. That's going to be that's definitely something I'm not doing today. I also need to make the risers and the white noise stuff. That could be cool. What the hell? So, because the piano's in there, and it has that really mid rangey like, attack to it and feel to it, that felt seriously unbalanced when that bass came in there, which didn't have any of that. And then I never set that either, because I didn't mix the piano at all. Oh, I guess I want the piano in here, now that I think about it. Let's try that. That might solve it, but... Mm. You hear the side chain happen to it. Yeah. Normally I'd compress the fuck out of pianos, but it feels like those samples are kind of doing it to themselves, and I'm also doing it a lot in master anyway. So there definitely needs to be like a a, a, a really cheesy ass super solid layer on this guy when the bit when the main business happens. Okay, before the I, I'm I'm redoing my file system, which is why I'm not using any of my play samples. But next, by the time I do the next stream, I'm gonna have that stuff set up again, and we're gonna probably go a little hard on this because I'm already I'm already seeing it. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the big orchestras. That sounds such like a like a freaking Half Life y sound. It's hilarious to me. Like, the Half-Life music was a really, like, Half-Life 1 and 2 were big in influencing, like, what I thought music is. And I like the shit out of it, you know what I mean? All right, making sure I didn't just demolish everything. 24, 23, okay. Keep track of my own shit. Close grand? Did I just clone the grand piano? I did. I didn't want to do that. Oh, wait, no, I didn't. I want to do this. Okay. Before we do that, though, I got to pee. BRB, you lovely people. Bam. And we're back. Right, we're doing cheesiness. This 
barely needs to be anything because it's going to be a really light, like, slight layer on this guy. Because like, I like I like how that lead sounds in the intro. I don't know that's a good main lead sound though, so it's got to have reinforcement. Does it need to be lower than that? That's interesting. It's 24. Am I doubling up on 24 for some reason? Yes, I am. be a key problem. I think I need to switch up where this guy happens. Like, I think this transition could be the end of it. The, the change needs to be more severe if it's going to repeat it like that three times in a row. Oh shit, I just realized that. <laughs> this is why I like working in the playlist of patterns because I, I could have could have gone in there and changed the patterns, but nope. Was together, right? Did the piano fuck that up? I had it wrong. Oh, because I didn't move the piano. I thought the piano was up there. Ah, labeling things kills me again. The part where I don't do that. I think I might have to still go down on this guy, like on um, <laughs> on uh, doing the seven here instead of the, the um, what I've been doing the three, I guess. I don't feel like doing that manually, so what we're gonna do? We're gonna take the seven out of here and we're gonna put it in there. I'm gonna have to do that for everything. Might just copy this guy and have it be the new main, new main progression. Make sure it is right. Yeah. Na, 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 na. 
now I'm kind of thinking I want to put this back where it was because I kind of fixed it with, with the, my issue with it, which was that it went, it went, it didn't go down because they had like the, the first one goes up and the second one goes down, the first one goes up, the second one goes down and then up again. But then I kind of want to go down and up again for the other one to come all the way down. I should really put, I'm just going to do that and I'm going to, I need to move the lead, the lead's the same the whole time. It's the whole point of it. Reharmonize lead. Okay. Pretty sure. Move the piano this time. Oh my god. Go there. Thank you. Uh, I'm gonna like. Uh, volume on. Whoops. Volume automation. Leads. Impact can just go over there. 24, 23, 23, 21. Nice. Cool. Of course, now this is reversed. No, it's the same thing now, but it goes back down. But it's the intro, so it doesn't matter. So that works out pretty good, and now I'm really worried that I'm ripping something off. <clears throat> um, does anyone recognize this? Honestly, pretty much every one of you in here would be more better would be better at pointing out what song I'm ripping off than I am because I basically don't listen to stuff, which is telling that I don't listen to stuff and I think I'm ripping something off. So, like really specifically, this progression in this lead, I, I feel like I've heard a thousand places. But like, I can't think of one, and this one's working really well, and I'm afraid that that's working really well because it's fitting something in my head. <laughs> Night Rider. I'll take it. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that. It's kind of badass. I don't, I don't really remember the theme. Right, let's, let's stand there and then. Nah, that's not this anymore. <laughs> now, what's this? See how much more complicated that got? Time progresses everything. People talking about spamming a chat. Uh, you can post links, just don't don't go too hard with it. You know, posted it once, and uh, talked about many ways side chaining. I did that again already today, so you'll just have to watch it again. <laughs> um, hmm. all right. So now I really want to. So this is definitely pretty solid. Like I like how this is going. I'm gonna put. I think I'm gonna put some words in there. I'm gonna like record some bullshit. Put some words in there, but still gonna rise. And but then this has to still meet this. It has to like like, like thematically make sense. Well, I have kind of an idea now. Shit was that? Oh, that was a piano jumping around. Oops, not what I wanted to do. Damn it! I need my kickback. So I kind of 
kind of want to do like a. You forget my control B life. <laughs> of course, it's a chord harmonic. Oh, I know. We gotta we gotta fade out on this guy. On this guy. So this is the ARP frequency, and that one's the other dude's frequency. So we're going to do like a fade. And actually, we're going to fade in like that, too. So we were fading in with the whole melody, but I'm not going to introduce the whole melody until the very end. It's it's useful to do that because you can introduce the rhythm, you can introduce the sound, but then like it'll still be fresh if I don't introduce this little variation until the very end because we're not really... We're not even really paying attention to it until about here, anyway. Which one used the ARPS? that bass in there. It doesn't really need to be in there, does it? Not for the intro. <laughs> Cause there I can act, put risers and junk in there too, and more contextual stuff with the words maybe. We can use the words to do that. And then, um, <clears throat> also gotta do something about this straightness. This is mostly just a, mostly just a thing to fill space for the time being. Kind of like guaranteeing the rhythm of the feel here so that when I rearrange the drop, I'll have somebody to fall back on to know what to do with. Oh shit, it's uh, been a little past. Oh, this is the dude? I had this backwards completely. <laughs> That's what I get for not labeling things. Yeah, patcher number eight versus patcher number seven. Oh. 
Let's see, that's kind of what I wanted. This guy. gonna be fills and symbols and risers and like I'm gonna definitely have to kill that rhythm and make rebuild again See, uh, that's okay though like uh, it's, it's important not to like kind of let your old work force something better to not happen because we're, we're letting we're letting this newer stuff kind of guide what we've done um, versus trying to let the older stuff sort of prevent us from doing cooler newer stuff like staying in the project and knowing where I am there we go thank you <laughs> shaping there you can hear all the individual sounds that clearly to know what needs editing it's not really about listening to individual sounds you did the individual sound work when you made the individual sound what we're listening to right now is all the stuff together because how a thing acts will affect how the other thing acts even if you're already done with it being a thing it was example this guy I am not listening to that. I am not listening for the, any really of the characteristics of the sounds. I'm listening to how it adds up to this. Which I just realized has been going straight into the, in the master this whole time and not being ducked at all. But it's actually working out pretty okay because of the way the compression set up. Because of the way the compression is set up. Um, yeah. And then again, I'm also not really listening to this. Like when I made these two sounds, I'm not saying like, I need everything about this to be crystal clear forever. I'm listening to it be like, okay, what's it sound like with this? And this. Same thing with this guy. Like that's definitely not like the vision of that sound like individually. You know what I mean? pretty much done for today uh we got pretty far we got basically the whole song structure done um it doesn't look like it but but uh this guy being basically the agreed upon progression for now basically means we could do the whole intro the way that we did because i kind of have a formula for that and then now the next next video is going to be mostly about making the drop something worthwhile it's going to mean forcing the rhythm to work with what we've established here and also doing a lot of new sound design so that's going to be monday at the same time that today happened which was 5 p.m est uh, if you have any questions about this, please let me know. Don't forget to like, comment, and describe. Describe. Yes, don't forget to describe in your comments how you like. And as usual, have a nice day. Yeah.